we are told quadrilateral WXYZ was dilated with the origin as the center of dilation to create quadrilateral W prime, X prime, Y prime, Z prime. So we started off with this black quadrilateral and then it looks like it was dilated down. One way to think about it, centered at the origin, it was scaled down. Write a rule to represent this dilation. So like always, pause the video, have a go at it on your own before we do this together. All right, so let's just remind ourselves what a rule that represents a dilation even looks like. A rule would look something like this. You take any x, y coordinate on the original shape and it's going to get mapped to another x, y coordinate, which will now be on the new shape, on the shape in green. Actually, why don't I write that in green just to make it clear what's going on. So it's going to be scaled in the x direction by k and scaled in the y direction by k. And so the key is we have to figure out what this scaling factor actually is. Now there's a couple of ways you could do it. You could look at a corresponding side, especially one that runs horizontal or vertical, so that you can actually just count how long it is, so you can know its dimensions or you know its length. For example, we could look at that length right over there. So we know that WZ is equal to, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units. And now let's see what W prime Z prime is. So W prime Z prime looks like it is one, two, three, four, five, six. It is six units. So it looks like when we went from W Z to W prime Z prime, it looks like we scaled, we multiplied by two over three. So that gives us a pretty good clue that the scaling factor is two over three. And that makes sense. If the scaling factor is less than one, the shape that we are mapping to after the dilation is going to be smaller. If the scale factor is greater than one, then we're going to enlarge it. But let's see if we can find other confirmation of that. Well, there aren't any other sides that are horizontal or vertical, but we could actually also confirm that by looking at a point where we can clearly get the coordinates of that point. So for example, we see that point Z right over here, it has the coordinates, this looks negative nine, negative three, negative nine, negative three. And now Z prime, if we believe this scaling factor, if we believe that it is two thirds for both the X and the Y, then if we multiply this by two thirds, it should be negative six, and if we multiply this by two thirds, it should be negative two. Let's see, z prime is indeed, the coordinates are negative six, or negative six, negative two. So once again, we have multiplied by two thirds in either of these situations. So we feel very comfortable that the rule to represent this dilation is, for any x, y on the original shape, it is going to get mapped to, instead of a k, we now know that k is two thirds. Two thirds of the original x and two thirds for the new y coordinate of the original y. And we are done.